Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to look at how to recover a worksheet password. I've got two sheets here, both of which are password protected. So if I try to make a change to any of the cells, it doesn't allow me to do that. What I'd have to do is go to the review tab, click on unprotect sheet and enter a password to make the changes, but I've forgotten the password. So I'll cancel out of that. I'm gonna show you two ways of getting around this. One's dead easy, but it might not meet your requirement. The other is much more involved, but will almost definitely meet your requirement. So let's just look at the first easy option. The first easy option is to copy everything in the sheet that is protected. Easiest way to do that is go up to the, the top left-hand corner, click on this little button here that selects everything. Control C to copy, create a new sheet, click in the first cell of that sheet, press enter, and it pastes the data in from your previous sheet. But what you'll find is that this sheet is not protected. What you can then do is go back to the original sheet, which was here, and delete it, and problem solved. If for whatever reason that doesn't meet your requirements, then you'll have to use the second method, which, as I said, is slightly more involved. I'm going to just delete this extra sheet that we created and I'm going to save and close this workbook, Control W to close. Now for the next steps, we need to go into Window Explorer. Here's my file in Windows Explorer. And the first step in Windows Explorer is to change the file extension of this file to zip rather than XLSX. Now, if you can't see the file extension, you need to go to the View tab at the top here and tick this box here, file name extensions. You can see that this toggles the file name extension on and off. Right click on the file, choose rename and change this file extension to zip. You'll get this warning, but just click on okay. Now you need to unzip the contents of this zip folder. Right click, extract all, and we're going to extract to the same folder. So I just click on extract close down this extra window. Then I need to go into this extracted folder, open up the Excel folder, open up the worksheets folder, and there are the two sheets in my workbook. I'm only gonna unprotect sheet one. I'll leave sheet two protected. Now to unprotect it, what you do is right click on it, go to open with, and choose something like notepad. Now in notepad, if I expand it, what I normally do is go to Format, Word Wrap, because it's just easier to see what you're doing with Word Wrap turned on. And what you're looking for is the word protection. Now, if you can't see it, use Control F and type protection and you'll find what box, and then go to Find Next, and you'll see protection down there. Now, what we've got to do here is delete a chunk of this code. And the code that we need to delete starts with sheet protection. Notice I also include that little bracket character there, all the way over to where it starts to say page margins. And you can see I have a closed bracket character there. So that's what I'm selecting from sheet protection to just before where page margins start. I press delete and then I save this file and then close it. Now, what I need to do then, I need to go back to this extracted sales report folder. So I click on that folder up there, and I can see the contents of the folder here. What I then need to do is re-zip these folders and files. Don't make the mistake of re-zipping this whole folder. That will create a corrupt Excel file. So you've got to go into this extracted folder, select this file and these three folders, then go up to share, zip, and it'll create a zip folder for you. Now give this a name. So I'll call this hacked sales report. And you need to change the file extension to XLSX. Press enter, and it'll give you this warning again. Just click on OK. You'll see it reinstates the Excel icon there for this file. And if you double click on it, It'll open it in Excel and you'll find that the first sheet is now unprotected, but because I didn't unprotect the second sheet, it still remains protected. Now back to the first sheet, if I wanted to reinstate a password, I could go up to the review tab, protect sheet and 
making a note of my password this time, enter it into this little box, click on OK, enter it again, click on OK, and I've got a protected sheet, but now I know the password. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully it's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.